Well, I'm down here again in the pool garden. It's a great garden, and uh, it's done really well. We've got little calabasas and things. Probably the biggest success down here has been the tomatoes. Tomatoes are a real challenge in this climate, uh, especially if you want to do it without a greenhouse, which is how most people do it. This thing has produced so many tomatoes this year. We just hauled a bunch out, and you can see that there's still more developing um, in here. These bushes got nice and big. Uh, the garden has a little extra nitrogen boost, and uh, so I can almost consider tomatoes to be a solved problem. Of course, the important thing, as always, is we take these tomatoes and we save the seeds. Uh, we end up out of one plant with thousands of seeds or whatever, and then because we have so many seeds, we can do a lot more experiments. We can toss those seeds in almost any place at the right time of the year, and including places we don't think they'll grow, and uh, they just might. I think the thing that first encouraged me to, to start playing with uh, tomatoes, even though everybody said that, that it's really difficult to do or, or impossible in this climate without a greenhouse, uh, was that uh, when I had read on a roof, we dumped some tiles somewhere, and, and then I found that there was a tomato growing out of those later. And that implied to me that they like somewhere that has a little more heat, and the th even the thermal mass, the tiny thermal mass of those tiles made a microclimate where that one tomato could come out. Well. That tells me that uh, if I try enough places, <coughs> I'll learn where the tomatoes want to grow instead of forcing the tomatoes to grow where I think they should grow. It's a whole different attitude. Uh, it involves a little bit of experimentation and, uh, and a little luck, but it's really not hard to do. And I think anybody can do that where they're at. You could do that even in an urban setting. And uh, the other interesting thing is that as we do that, uh, we're actually evolving those tomatoes to like this environment. The ones that come up are the ones that want to germinate here, that like the, the soil and the rain and everything that's here. And, uh, and over time, we'll end up with bosque tomatoes, ones that are evolved to, to, to us, and we've evolved our process to them. Oh, these nice uh, avocados here. So anyway, that's some thoughts about how to do tomatoes better. It's a great success, and I look forward to, to making more next year. Uh, we've had all the tomatoes we can eat this year. I don't buy them anymore, and perhaps I'll be able to feed more people with, uh, with a similar kind of systems.